Monster Boys, brought to you by Fresca, the most refreshing. Uh, they say grapefruit drink on it. Yeah. D- <laughs> have you ever tasted a Fresca and went, "Huh, grapefruit"? <laughs> I have not. I have not. Citrus. Oh. Sorry, that was a very that was a very old lady thing of me to do. Oh, oh, oh my toaster! Do you guys Whoa. remember this old picture of Fresca? No, this is the original from the nineties. We used to get. I didn't like, even know it was from the nineties. Bottles of Fresca from liquidators. Wow. No, do you remember this, Nick? <laughs> no, no. This what? is when we used to put. Well, sir, do you remember when we put milk in Fresca? At one time, and we were like, it's okay, good. Yes. no, it's good, it's good. And people were like, no, it's not. But it was, it was, it was okay. It wasn't great. I don't remember being like that small. That's why I think I remember being this size. Yeah, well, you were, mean, holding, you were holding a small picture. We were like, <laughs> we weren't huge. We yeah. were babies. I have a confession to make, and I don't know if I should make it because of our, our sponsor. This is a safe space. Okay. I didn't even know Fresca existed until last year. <laughs> and now? I know it exists. And, now and I love can, it. And say it with me. Now, now I can I'm a go a day Fresca. without drinking a Fresca. Drinking. What, yeah. Oh. I can't go a day without drinking zero calorie grapefruit flavored yeah. carbonated water. And low carb I was seeing? Yeah. They got it all. They got it all. Everything. Why, why isn't everybody doing this essential life hack of drinking a Fresca at least once every hour? Yeah. Anyway. My my lady tells me, because it is water, mm-hmm. my lady tells me, she was like, oh, did you have any water today? And I, and I say, like, oh, I had, like, three Frescas. She's like, good enough. That's, that's not water. Yeah. So I am Chris. Uh, are we? Do we do this every episode? I don't think we have been. Huh? Well, I'm Chris. Uh, <laughs> I have a problem. With <laughs> yeah. And I have a problem with Fresca. I once saw a stranger's Fresca. It was half drank, so I drank the rest of it. Uh, this is my brother, Nick. I'm Nick. I'm his brother. This is Drew. <laughs> I'm, I introduce myself, and I introduce the next person, too. Yeah. I'm Drew, and I'm uh, Chris and Nick's friend. And then, uh, and this is Chris. Hi, my name is Chris, uh, and I have a problem, and this is, <laughs> what was that shift? The graveyard <laughs> shift? <laughs> so recently, Nick, you, um, wait, wait, do we want to tell the big story at the top, or do we want to build to it? Because the big story Big story is, at the top. Big story at the it. top. Let's do it. Let's start yeah. heavy. Let's start yeah. heavy, and then we'll get lighter. <laughs> the episode will just get worse it's as It's like when you on. eat the mashed potatoes in the gravy before you eat the meat. Hey, whoa, 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 don't, whoa, don't whoa. knock until you try it. Did, I think that's how my, that? my, my, my GF does it. <laughs> grandfather. <laughs> Speaking of grandfather. <laughs> hey, my grandfather's... Grandfathers love that kind of stuff. Yeah. What's potato? That, that sound means that we're on to our first really big story here. Big story of the day. So the last time I was at a Golden Corral was with my grandfather. Okay. And the last, well, well, no. Grandfather actually, Paul. Actually, no. The last time I was with my, the last two times I was with my grandfather. We, let me start over. Yeah, can we start over? <laughs> Welcome to Matsu Boys. <laughs> not that far. No, 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 no. Not that far back. Okay, so I was just at Golden Corral mm-hmm. recently with my girlfriend's grandfather. The most the the time before that was with my flesh and blood grandfather. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's the place to take grandfathers. Yeah. I guess it's rough for like family. Big meals. I like Golden Corral just for the, the sake of watching people. Because, I mean, when I tell you I look at the integrity of their ankles as they walk back to the table <laughs> from the buffet, I'm like, wow, either those are some tree trunks or I'm like, those ankles Ooh. cannot hold what is on that plate. But anyway. Um, my, speaking of grandfathers and... Speaking of ankles. And food. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, we went to this restaurant years ago, about 17 years ago, and we had a great time. Uh, our meal was great. It was with my mother and, and my grandparents. Everyone enjoyed it. It was, it was great. We got, had excellent service. We leave the restaurant. We're in the car ride uh, going home. So we're talking about how, because it was our first time there, so uh, everyone was saying how they enjoyed it and stuff. And my grandfather says, oh, it's very nice, but I'll never go back there again. <laughs> and we, we were like, why? Why not? And he was like, the people sitting across from us ordered too much food. <laughs> and we have never been back since. Yeah, good. No? No, I, I totally get that. I wouldn't go back. I... Sickening. <laughs> what? said... I did that thing where I zoned out. And like, <laughs> <laughs> I did that thing where I wasn't listening. <laughs> I was waiting to talk. I think I was looking out the window. <laughs> you said they ordered too much food? The people across from where we were sitting, yes. They know it's a buffet, right? No, it wasn't. Oh, oh, oh. It wasn't oh, called oh, the corral. Oh, oh. It was another restaurant. You said I went out with my grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, don't, you can't only take your pet grandparents to Golden Corral. You're able to go to other places. He's <laughs> like, yeah, but it's Golden Corral. <laughs> but I should, talking about. I, should, I should take my <laughs> should take your, your grandfather to Golden Corral. Grandfather. It explode if you saw how much food, how much food people order at Golden Corral. He would simply die. That was a regular restaurant. He's like they order too much. Yeah. Imagine taking him to a buffet. He would be sickened. Oh. I'm telling you, sometimes I get sickened, but I also like to see what people uh, like. What they I call it curate, like what their plates look like when oh, they uh -huh. leave. Like what they decide to put on the plate next to each other. Yeah, gross. It shows our, how artistic they are, or how much yeah, skill they how have. How autistic they are. Oh my goodness, if I could... <laughs> I... We took my Italian grandma, which you know is like... I mean, I think she's... Grandma trying, Karen. Grandma Karen. <laughs> well... Gra uh, well... Grandma... Grandma... <laughs> isn't that the thing? And yeah, 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 yeah. Grandma, yeah, Karen, grandma, Karen. grandma <laughs> Grandpa Paul. Yeah, Grandpa yeah. Paul. Paulette. <laughs> <laughs> Paulette. Grandma Paulette. Grandpa, Grandma Paulette. Uh, we took her to a, a Chinese buffet. First time ever that she's ever been to a Chinese buffet was down here. Wow. And I think she had been like, what? She just turned 90? Wow. I mean, now she's like 96. Mm -hmm. But she had been like, she had to be 89 or 90. And we told her, you can go up as much as you want. <laughs> She looked like, she, looked like she, she just got let out of yeah. prison. <laughs> she was like, what? I was like, Grandma found the promised land. She was like, oh, as much as you want. We're like, yeah. Even so the she, shrimp? She kept coming back with French fries. And she was like, these are good. Like, these are so good. And I was like, Frenchy fries? You know, like, you can go get like the crab legs and like the good stuff. And she's like, mm, I just want these fried potatoes. This is so good. So I never take advantage of the good stuff at buffets. Me neither. I'm always like, mm, noodles, 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 yeah. noodles, noodles, noodles. Because I can't make noodles that good. Yeah. So this time at Golden Corral. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the most recent time at Golden Corral, I understand, was a very special, but also uh, stressful. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give us some of the backstory of why? So I had been in expectation of meeting... Um, my girlfriend's grandfather, Oof. Um, which is something that I've been putting off for a while, um, because you have, yeah, okay. that's, yeah, because um, she met my uh, grandmother like really right away <laughs> in our relationship, and I was like, oh, there'll be no problem, don't worry about it, you know, you'll get to know the whole family and everything will be great, and then so then. I was like, okay, so when am I going to get to meet the rest of your family that's here? And so it just took a while just to get to meet her family that's here. And then she's like, my grandfather is really the last person you have to meet. And so now came the time and then now this is it. And it just took forever. It's been about maybe like a year mm. plus since uh, the time came. And so she's like, all right, uh, it's going to be. And then finally we're like, okay, when, 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 when for the last maybe six months, we are like next month, next month, next month, and it's mm -hmm. been dragging. So now it's like, uh, okay, ne this next week, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay, 
And so now it came out to be this, uh, like, like last week that we did it. And so, um, I didn't know what I was going to expect. And I will tell you, I was expecting, I mean, I don't know what I should say, but I was expecting like, um, oh, like a militant kind I, of like this, like, I understand like he has know? like a big role in her life. Like he's like, yeah. He kind of like helps her out a lot, so so meeting yeah. him means a lot to her. Yeah, and like him liking you was important. Yeah, and as both of us know, you were you're difficult to like at times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so so uh, let's just be through a little bit. So yeah. so when we get there, uh, so he so I'm thinking I'm gonna get this like tall guy, skinny guy, uh, furred brow kind of like like you said militant kind of guy like. Hi, how are you? Very direct. Like, uh, she kind of prepped me, like, what to not what to say, but like how to navigate a conversation. Because you know me, I'm not the best at saying what I mean or <laughs> just in general how to talk right. about how I am. Because she knows how I am on the inside, but like I'm not saying you know what I mean. But so <laughs> what uh, when I got there, she's like. Just well, talk the right. Way. Compare it to who you who you thought you were gonna get. Compare yeah. it to like an actor, someone oh. someone everybody knows. Who would you think you were getting? Oh, okay, okay, great. Uh, I thought I was getting who I thought I was getting. Yeah, who would you think you were gonna get? Who you thought uh, you were getting like? Uh, I thought I was getting like uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. I was getting um. What's that guy's name? Terry, Morgan Freeman. Terry? Terry Crews. Terry Crews. I thought I was getting Terry Crews. Yeah. Or, or no, more like, um, I can't even think of his name. The Allstate guy. No. That's I Allstate's name. N- no. Yeah. <laughs> more of like, who's like, I'm being trying to be more realistic because this guy is like in his 70s. Oh. Who's like, a, who would be more like, more skinny? A skinnier guy, because I'm assuming this guy's in his seventies, so he'd be he would be skinnier. Yeah, you're like more like a like a, like a like a serious version of Chris Tucker. Okay. <laughs> like a seventy year old Chris Tucker, but like like the seriousness of like Eddie Murphy. Of like no, oh I know what I was thinking I was getting. I think I was getting um the the a man on fire. It's man on fire. Yeah. Oh. I thought I was gonna Denzel. Denzel. I thought I was Washington. getting Denzel Washington. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that's the first person that came to my mind. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. I thought All I was right. getting Denzel Washington. Okay. Oh, and you got Bill Cosby. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh I wound up getting the Wayans brother. Oh. Like uh like the one um that what's his name? The Chase. Marlon. Name? Yeah. I don't know if that's no, the one. that's a fish. <laughs> Damon. Damon Damon, Damon Wayans. Yeah, he's very sweet, very kind. Aw. Damon, okay. Damon? 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 I thought you were going to say, I ended up getting Bernie Mac. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, he was sweet too. Yeah, he's very nice. Yeah. But, um, so the thing that was very difficult for me, yeah. though, was that uh, the direction that I was given, because I was very nervous Yeah. when I was going in, was like, she told me, she said, just don't, you know, just don't say anything that's, um, you know, to mess it up. Uh, <laughs> don't tell them about the podcast. No. <laughs> yeah, don't tell them that you have a podcast called Matzo Boys. Yeah, it's going to mess everything up. Yeah. She's going to get the wrong, you know. She said, um, just don't, yeah. Don't say anything weird. Yeah. And? I just said something. Uh... Okay, so everything went well. You sat down. Uh, yeah. I tried to be as helpful you... and say as little as possible. What did you choose to eat? Uh, I don't think he was looking at my food. Okay, good. No, no, okay, okay. Well, what were your selections? I'm curious about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm uh, more curious about what you ate in front of him than what you said to him. Yeah. No, what I said was bad, too. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> no, I want to get there. I want you to hear the food, and okay. then I want to hear what uh, the bad thing you said. So the stop, food, you know, stop playing around with me. I want to hear... I couldn't you. eat a lot of meat, so... Because that's just my diet normally. Like, I got mashed potato. I Oh, was we okay, so we got there. It was... He also has, like... Two little nieces, I think that he or granddaughters that he watches too. So it was two two little young nieces that he watches that are like nine and twelve that came, and it was me, um, my girlfriend, her cousin, and the mom. So uh, it was so it was like the, that many of us. Uh, so one, two, three, 
four, five, six. So it was like a, a whole troop. family affair. It was nice. And you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it looked like a drop in a bucket. So it was funny. So when we got there, um, we we ate the food. Uh, I had about like mashed potatoes. The cousins were like, I was like, what do you guys like to usually get? They're like, we like the broccoli. Oh, so very good. Very good. So I tried yeah. the broccoli that because I then I found out later like their parents like the broccoli, so that's why they get it. The, the little yeah. kids. So I was like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, cool. Like they take after the, the parents. Nice. Yeah. So, nice. um, so I ate like a lot of the vegetables. Um, can't really remember some stuff. Then after I had like a plate of like vegetables, uh, then I was like, oh, I saw like uh, I couldn't really eat any of the chicken. Didn't look really good to me. And I, then I saw they had a little carving station. I said, okay, put a, you can put a piece of steak on there for me. I got kind of full after that. Then I went back for a salad. Um, then after that, I think I did. I got full, and then I did uh, Jello and fruit. Mm. But for the conversation, where it went wrong was that when we sat down, basically the main thing she told me is the hardest question he's going to ask you is, what do you do for work? And I'm not supposed to say uh, that I work at a hotel because he's looking for people that work, you know, in higher learning, like as a doctor or a lawyer or something of of higher education and that's what he he wants you know somebody that his granddaughter is going to be with has the best mm-hmm. of course anybody wants their yeah their their offspring to be with the best mm-hmm. so i was under the impression that he was going to talk a lot and trying to feel me out so I tried to stay quiet and didn't know what to say. So when I'm eating my food, I'm watching um, my girlfriend and her mom look at me and I'm like trying not to look at them. And I look up every once in a while and they're giving me eyes like, say something, say something. <laughs> and I'm like... Yeah, so you were just like silently eating and so, with everything. Yeah. <laughs> like, like what? Like, and I'm eating... And then <laughs> and I'm putting in work. And the two of them are just like filling up the dead air conversation like real fast. Like, oh, oh how is this person? How is this person? Oh, yeah, it must have been good. Yeah. And I'm like, they talk that fast? Like about family and stuff like that? So, wow. So he gets up eventually and then they're like, are you nervous? Is everything good? Why don't you ask him something? I'm like... You guys have a lot to talk about, about family and everything. I don't really know much about family. I don't really know what to say. You know, like I feel, they're like, I'm like, I'm not nervous. It's just, I don't spend as much time with your family as you guys. I don't really know that much. Like if I was more in the family, maybe I'd know what to say. And there, and she was like, well, you can bring up something about music or ask him about his life or his interests and try and start some conversation with him. I'm like, that's true. I'm just like, I, maybe I am nervous. I said, I, if I was more comfortable, if it was just me and him maybe out for lunch, yeah. it could be a one-on-one and that would be less stressful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but just this is kind of an awkward situation because it's like you looking at me trying to start something. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. That's a little bit how I was feeling. I think uh, oh. the, the media makes uh, the one-on-one seem way more intimidating than it is. Yeah, no, it should never be that way. Because if you have, what was it, six of you? You have yeah. six people there, well, not including you and, and grandpa. So you got four other people there who are uh, related, watching. Yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah. As this this one on one interaction is going to happen, yeah. if it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And not to I mention, to everybody's got like they all know each other, yeah, and you don't. Yeah. You know, you know, and they're all, they all know like, oh, this something's going to happen. This is too. this is Nikki's time to be yeah. grandpa. And he so, even knows it, so it's like, and he's like. Oh, hi, I heard a lot about you. You seem to be a fine young man. You'll fit right in, hopefully. Ha, 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 ha. It's like, yeah. oh, great. Uh, and then, yeah, it's like, do I be cocky about it? Be like, yeah. hey, I already have been. <laughs> Suck up. <laughs> like, no. what do you do? As, I get what you mean, but at the same time, like, I like, if it were me, I always like to go above and beyond to be like, ah, we're already friends here, you know? Yeah. That's but right. that's just me. 
So the part where I messed it up and didn't realize it until... Oh, that wasn't it? (laughs) No. So this is where I messed up. Um, You know me, I'm like sometimes oblivious. Mm -hmm. So right somewhere near the beginning where we sat down with the food, he's like, so um, where do you work? Wow. (laughs) So, all right, this is what you've been training for. All right. Come on. You ready? Come ready? On, Rocky is what you've been training ready? for. What does Nick say? This has been Matzo Boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Go ahead, guys. What, does, what do I say? How can I mess this up? Uh, you say, well, I don't really work. I work at a hotel. Very good. You work very close. I work at the O. Good. Customer service. He's closer. You, I work in customer service. <laughs> You're closer with hotel. <laughs> I work at a motel. No. <laughs> I work at a I work at uh, a big hotel. <laughs> I, I said that. Uh, he said he said, "Where do you work?" I I took that as the most <laughs> vaguest. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. As I the, took it as "Where do you work?" And I was like, "Oh, uh, I was like, oh, he's, I have to give him directions. He wants to go." <laughs> It's like, do you know where? <laughs> where I was like, oh, we're, we're doing Mad Libs. Yeah, do you want to? I was like, uh, it's uh, in Manalapan. You, oh, you uh, get the streets. I, <laughs> I thought he it's meant Main Street. That's where I, I work. Mentally, I didn't think he was asking me um, what I do for work. I, for some reason, I thought if he wanted to know what I do for work. He would, would have asked say, it in a different way. What do you do for work? Yeah. Right? You took where do you work? So I was so, I think, maybe on edge <laughs> yeah. that I didn't think he... Where do you work? Where Where do you work? Or what do you do for work? Is how I was would have worded yeah. it. He said, where do you work? So I, my, my brain didn't compute it the right way. You're like right on the water? I said on the water of Manalapan, kind of like uh, near near North Palm, North Palm, Palm Beach. Oh, you're a fisherman. God. Yeah, no. He, I thinks, he like... thinks you're a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> she comp- Where do you work? <laughs> I work the corner. <laughs> no, but she explained it to him later and he was like, oh, okay. And he didn't address it after I said that. He was Yeah, just I confused. wouldn't do You sound like a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, but that was kind of the one thing that he was like, Okay. All right. He kind of left it alone after. So that was the only thing with with Smart work. Man. You had all of this uh, preparation about what not to say. That was the one say. thing that I should not that I was supposed to. So you kind of did the perfect thing. Yeah. Yeah. By because then you completely it. avoided. I, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you kind of freaked him out. <laughs> so in my all of my preparation, I deflected the whole yeah. conversation, and I was Good so job. sad and so happy with how. Wow. It ended. Yeah. It's like by. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the big problem is coming your way. Like we got an asteroid coming towards Earth. And we're like, what do we do? We're just like, we'll just throw nonsense at it until it goes away. And it worked. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just throw nonsensical things. Nikki, I was expecting something else. Yeah, I was expecting when you, when something The way you were yeah. prefacing it. Well, yeah. that's, what I, that's exactly how life is, right? We build up all these anxieties yeah. about life. And yeah. then you get there and you're like, oh, just, you know. It's really nothing. It's just anxiety just builds up in your brain and it's really nothing. Yeah. That's why I choose to have fun as often as possible, like yeah. in any situation possible. Mm-hmm. So a number texted me, a, a name texted me on on um, Messenger, Facebook Messenger. Okay. And um, Drew, I think I want you to read it just like, this is what she said. This is what you said, Chris. And like just back back and forth because I didn't show you yet. Oh, okay. this is from a, ran- a random person? A random person, but usually it's just a number or a name, and uh-huh. they're like, hi, David, and I'm like, I'm not David, and I just delete the whole thing. But this one was like a name and a Facebook profile and of a person that I don't know. Okay. And they were res- like responding uh-huh. like a person would. I get that on WhatsApp all the time. Yeah, me too, okay. but this one wasn't on WhatsApp, it, it was, was on, on Messenger. Messenger. Yeah, okay. So here, I was like, you know what? Have fun with that. I'm having fun yeah. with it. Here you go, Drew. Okay. So, yeah. so she said, "This is how she starts it." Yeah. Okay. Um. So she says, "No." Oh, first of all, let's. Her name is Caitlin. Should we say that? Yeah. Well, her name is Caitlin. Okay. Let's just say that. I thought I was gonna. I thought it was Karen. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I guess this person. Yeah, yeah whatever. This person it's it's a fake Caitlin. person. It's a bot. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, but. It gets funny. It gets okay. it gets ridiculous. So Caitlin says, "This is how she starts it." Jenner, <laughs> no. Where are you located? <laughs> it starts like that. Yeah. 
So then, Chris, you try to video call? Immediately. <laughs> you got to find out where this bot is. I immediately video call her. <laughs> so then Caitlin says, where are you located? And then sends two question marks in a different text. Yeah. Chris then replies, Kate, what? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, here we go with her response. Yeah. Don't you have simple courtesy and manner that you don't call people without having their misspelled yeah. permission? Mm -hmm. In response <laughs> to the video call. And I respond, Kate, you open this conversation with the word no. <laughs> <laughs> we, we leave the courtesy at the door, Kate. <laughs> now what's Gucci? <laughs> yes. And then, then she says, LOL, it's was mistake and you can change it with two. Oh, two. Still doesn't make any, 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 any yes, sense. Yes, as a man. Yes, as a man. And Chris is oh, like, Jesus. you're like, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Caitlin says, then you should have make it possible. Don't know what it means. <laughs> so what do I do? How are you? <laughs> I, I, wait, who asked how are you? You. Oh, what? I said, how are you? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's she's, like try to reboot this conversation. Yeah, let's like, get back on let's the start over. Reboot the robot. Yeah. The robot. Oh, like how are you? Maybe at this yeah, point, Caitlin, she's losing it. Caitlin says, "I am fine, and you." Didn't sound okay a couple minutes ago. Kristoff <laughs> says, "I'm not gonna lie, I miss you." <laughs> <laughs> and see, no, no, oh not gosh. Caitlin says, "Really? <clears throat> how?" Chris is like, that's why I called. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she says, and how come you do without knowing me? Who are you? <laughs> I know. Yeah. So this is all within well, like, like three first. minutes yeah. of the initial text. <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> this is very quick. But so she... then Chris, right here, yeah, yeah, this video guy. calls again. <laughs> yeah. Boom. How do you get This is like, I'm a speed dater. Let's yeah, do let's it. Go. He's <laughs> like, stop playing games, Kate. We both know what this is. <laughs> what is this? She's like, really? Who are you? Tell me now. There was no punctuation marks. Yeah. I included that. Right. Who are you? I figured me? that's how she said it. Yeah. Who are you? Tell me now. <laughs> uh, crying, laughing face, crying, laughing face, red heart by Chris. Then he says, you're so funny, Kate. Kate's like, meaning? And Chris tries to get the oh. conversation back to mm -hmm. reality. Oh, there goes gravity. gravity. <laughs> Seriously, though, how are you? And that was it. She blocked me. <laughs> she blocked the robot. Blocked you. She blocked me in Roblox because I can't <laughs> Roblox. <laughs> I just noticed something. You just made me realize something about that. You realize how you said Chris put cry face, cry face. Yeah. You'll never get an emoji from a robot. Nope. Mm. Robots do not emojize. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good word? I don't even know. Emojize? Yeah, sure. It sounds weird for a second. Drew, do you know the difference between toilet paper and wallpaper? No, I don't. Gross. I think this has been Monster Boys, I guess. <laughs>